what's going on? Let's... Alrighty. So last time we finished the tutorial. And now... On to whatever this is. Let's claim rewards. You just earned the tutorial from your crate. But first, let's go to your crate. Use card pack tickets to buy cards. Buy packs. Loot box opening video! Hey, it's Beauty and the Beast. Gentle Forest Beauty. Three play Forest Craft Follower 2 3. Gain Bane while allied with. An allied irate forest beast is in play. Ringside announcer. Hmm. Bloodcraft. Orca run. Overflow effects activate when you have at least seven play point orbs. It's mostly Dragoncraft cards that have overflow. Goliath. If you have enough play points, they're automatically spent to activate the enhance effects of the card when you play the card from your hand. Okay, that means it has an enhance for seven. And an enhance for ten. <laughs> Yikes. Magic Blade Witch. Accelerate. If you do not have enough play points to play a card, you, it can be played as a spell instead for accelerate cost. Only the accelerate effects will activate when the card is played this way. Cool. That's kind of like adventure. How's it going, Pocahontas? We're still learning here. Summon as Earth Essence. One play point runecraft amulet. Earth Sigil. This is an Earth Sigil amulet that can be used to activate Earth Rite effects. No clue what that does. Eleven Beastmaster. This is the very first pack we're opening ever right now.
Like, we just beat the tutorial last stream, or I'm told, that we had a 4 gigabyte update, and so we ended the stream. Okay. <laughs> you can buy card packs from other card sets with this. Card pack tickets you earn from completing the tutorial. Select the name of the card set on the left side of the screen. Click that set. You are able to trade your card pack points for tradable cards. Every card pack you purchase earn one card pack point. For more details, see the help section. It's because I think the game developers wanted you to be able to probably play before the game was actually done. For streamers, it's kind of annoying, but... I can understand why. give you at the start. Vials are used to create cards to get vials, win matches, or liquefy extra cards. Cards green, you can create copies of most cards in the game. Now this is... not the best navigatable thing. As you can imagine, basically, the, since I've never played this game before, we had to download an update that was basically every single update that's came out since launch. And this game came out in, was it 2016? So that's like four years worth of updates. It was a big download. So they're sorted by card cost, is all I can really tell. Prophetess of Creation. You can create decks for either format, rotation, unlimited. Try making a rotation deck first. Select leader, does this even matter? This class has cards that fill your hand with a lot of low cost fairy followers. This makes it easier to play multiple cards in one turn and activate other forest craft cards. Abilities giving you more power. Oh, they do matter. Such as knights, these followers are officers which can be strengthened by commanders. Play them alongside each other to gain advantage in battle. Each time you play a spell as a runecraft, the spell boost cards in your hand become more powerful. Begin the match by casting spells to spell boost your hand. 
and then overwhelm your opponent. This class has cards that can give you extra play point arms. Give the opponent it's best to have cards that give you extra play point arms to be sure to redraw if necessary. Necromancy effects. Why would it be anything else? Why would it be anything else? That's kind of a neat mechanic, vengeance. So the number of countdown amulets reaches zero, the amulet is destroyed. Some countdown amulets summon powerful followers, others have different effects. Countdown amulets can... This doesn't tell me anything about her. This class has cards with resonance effects. These effects activate depending on how many cards are in your deck. Try to activate multiple effects once you add your artifact cards to your deck. Okay, let's uh, let's not mess with that. And this is basically Magic the Gathering. I'm saying this is the current rotation, and then this is just whatever is available. Yep, yeah, use all available cards. Your rank is determined by complete, competing with other players. Rank matches will be ranked separately for playing in rotation, unlimited respectively. Create a private match to play against a specific player. We might do that on stream at some point, because somebody might be able to teach me the game. Continues with the main story, which can be found in solo. By defeating opponents, you can get great rewards and cards exclusive to the main story. Use pre-built decks in story mode to get ahead. Rebuilt decks can be used in the main story. They come in handy doing tough battles, so make sure you take advantage of them. Learn the characteristics of each class through the story. Each leader's first chapter in the Morning Star story is a tutorial that introduces you to each class. Learn the okay, we should probably do that. We'll just work our way through. Yep, that's where we left off. An ominous presence has filled the skies. People know it by one name, the Morning Star. Oh, this is what happened. We, yeah, we got an update here at one point. It is a promise of freedom, a glimpse of new worlds, a light reaching into oblivion, a shadow in mortal hearts. When darkness covers the world, the gates of annihilation will open. This is what I trained for! I think I've seen that creature's mark somewhere before. The Morning Star! Okay, you gonna fill me in? What's going on? find Losaria there. <sighs> Yay, more of them. This more time, two! That mark is the Morning Star. Where have you taken Losaria? Are you hurt? I'm moving in. No, I'm fine. Okay, that's new. What was that? It changed shape. But they're no match for me. You take that one. Puppeteer strings. 
somebody was telling me about this card on the stream last time. Time for me to prove myself. Only have five life. Let's talk about a handicap. In Forest Craft, there are many ways to add fairy cards to your hand. Use those fairies to overwhelm your opponent. The forest abandoned me. Follower strike effects activate when attacking the enemy. They do not activate when receiving attacks from enemy followers. Put a fairy into your hand. Okay. I act at my heart's command. Yeah, I'm still, like, not understanding the intricacies of, like, when I should be doing certain things, but I'm sure that's gonna be more as I familiarize myself with the meta. You just become a better player. I figured just that don't. out by reading. Just don't. Just don't. <laughs> I play Magic the Gathering, so... I, and I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! before it got, like, super complicated with, like, Synchro Summons and XYZ Summons. And Pendulum Summons, or whatever that all of that nonsense is. So I'm, I can work my way around a card game. I've never played Hearthstone, though. Which I'm told this is very similar to Hearthstone. Played more than two cards. Let's try to activate Elf Metallurgist effects. You'll need to play at least two other cards first. Hey, let's play. Played two cards this turn, so Elf Metallurgist fanfare will activate. Now play your Elf Metallurgist. Evolved to strengthen thanks to Elf Metallurgist effects. Your opponent has no longer any followers. Evolve Deaf Elf far, Dark Elf Father finish off the enemy leader. You're done for. I walk my own path. Just don't. Yeah. Okay. Should I maximize this screen? I did it! I won! Rewards! Elf Metallurgist times three classic card pack ticket. Okay. Forest Craft brings out the true power of fairies. Elf Metallurgist is now yours. Add it to your deck and play story matches. Yes. They seemed like exact copies. I'm Arisa. I'm sorry, you are? My name is Erica. Thank you, Erica. I'm really glad you were around. It's nothing. Do you have any idea what made them attack you? No. No, I'm not really sure. Man, this, this music just doesn't stop, does it? But... They took my best friend. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to find her, though. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for someone, too. A friend of yours? Not exactly. But he's one of the most important things in my life right now. 
That sounds like an oath of vengeance. I could never let him slip away. It sounds like hmm. he's lucky to have someone so dedicated. Yeah, we just saw a tutorial for that. It said that there's free builds. I'm sure you'll find him. It was good to meet you. Good luck. I hope she finds who she's looking for. What I'm looking forward to in the future is just learning how deck building works and... I'm assuming you want to curve out the way the game is structured. Limited time with this. Collect points, get rewards. Quest is a recurring mode where you can challenge AI controlled opponents to clear missions, collect points, and gain rewards. It's it's called a pina colada. I can never look at this and imagine this as an elite level opponent. I don't care how good at cards it is. Then you can challenge gold, pina colada. Defeating it will reward some mission points and other opponents. You have the option to fight gold, pina colada in a training match, but you won't receive any mission points for training. This music is, like, so lighthearted and friendly. collab event right now, because I don't think I've heard of this thing that they're collaborating with. I don't know. Okay. Last words. It seems reliable. Idol Master. Okay, I have heard of Idol Master, but I've never seen anything from Idol Master. Sister of Punishment. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you, I ain't got none of those cards. limit on hand size in this game? Hey, let's play. Hey, let's play. 
Nine cards. That's a big hand size. I know how you feel. Starry Elf. That's a big Starry Elf. A shimmering future awaits. Let me read the card, please. <laughs> oh, wow. You don't get to, like, choose what you discard? That's kind of sad. Leader the following effect. At the start of your turn, summon a holy cavalier, then remove this effect. That is really good. Wow. That's a lot of evolving. Not sure what I should do here. Click and drag is a little unresponsive. Huh. Interesting. Maybe this will motivate you to not attack me. I'm about to take seven damage is what this game is telling me. botanist. I have seven? How much is in it for me? Oh, oh come on. You're strong. Ouch. Okay, so we're not gonna mess with these things till I can come up with my own deck. Yeah, let's not mess with that. I edit these. What's going on? The morning's 
Star. These creatures. I don't know what to make of them. <laughs> I'm surprised this is fully voiced. Ah, that's neat. Another one. Thank you for that. That's very helpful. Hey, you're that guy that I read in the loading screen. Urias? Urias? I don't know how to pronounce that. Who is that? Time for me to prove myself! Bowering world. Yeah, no. That's almost a curve. Gabby's feeling hungry. All that's left is time. Man, this guy's voice lines are depressing. Fifty packs. Don't hurt me. Who must have a sweet time? They're putting on me. Just keep flooding my hand. That's more than Magic the Gathering gives you. They want you to spend that money. is hopefully he doesn't attack this and then I play five fairies this next turn. Okay, flood the board. Smack him in the face. Who must have a sweet time? What is healing him? Your leader recovers one defense point for every point of damage that followers drained. Lifelink! Let's look at my hand. I think getting rid of this might be a good idea. Oh, that's right, because creatures don't... Hey, wait, it doesn't trigger when they defend? So weird. How much is in it for me? Hey, let's play. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Let's just 
just make him attack. I'm gonna try to force him to trade. I act at my heart's command. Well, that was a dumb I move, act AI. At my heart's command. I get that life is a resource in a card game. Away. Let's see. Nice. When in doubt, RNG. I love RNG effects. Go for tempo. Iron my fair share. Iron my fair share. Next turn, I think I can kill him. If he doesn't play Ward. I live by the sword. Our sacred force. I'm still hungry. Wait, that's it. Wait, that's it. This guy just won't die. The forest abandoned me. Hey, let's play. I've exhausted his evolve, so maybe I can start killing him on backswing. Better than in the cradle. Constant Ow! life gain is so no, bull. He was so close to dead so many times. Yeah, the problem with evolving is I'm not exactly 
experienced enough to know when I should be evolving and which thing I should be evolving. So a lot of this is a crap shoot for me. play anything turn one. Stay away. Well, I guess it is a card game and sometimes you get lucky. I live by the sword. This is going a lot more one-sided than last time. It's much easier to win when they're not healing I six life every turn. Command. How much is in it for me? Away. I better get a bonus for this. So shining I... hope. So uh I win. All that's left is time. That went a lot easier than the last time. It's almost like he was using a different I deck. I won! I've already forgotten what vials are used for. She dead. I'm calling it now. She's dead. Files craft new cards. Okay. The waif.
Hmm. That that's weird. Legendary fighter. That's neat. I'm going to go for a very simple curve. This is like the MTG 101 here. When in doubt, Elf Tribal. Let's just go for... Plus one, plus one. Elf. Fairy. We're gonna flood the board with 1 1 fairies. Let's see if we can build just fairy aggro. Lee, deal 2 damage to any enemy elf follower, 2 other cards for. That seems broken. One of those. If I had more of those, I'd put more of those. Does it say fairy or elf? If not, I don't care. Neat. Cleft dual fencer. Put a fairy in the hand. We're going low to the ground aggro. And I kind of saw that, because anything with X is generally good. I guess we'll throw that in. Just a one-up. I might swap it out for something else. Bad Katha, give plus one, plus one to out. Random allied follower. Nah. Moon and Sun, choose summon Matarasu or Sukiyomi. That's a bit. Over the top for me. Okay, put a fairy in my hand. What about you? Ooh, that might be good. Lisa, Queen of the Forest. Randomly put one of the lowest cost forest craft followers from your deck into your hand. At the start of your next turn, randomly put one of the highest cost. <laughs> that sounds like. Broken. Summon. This is kind of broken, so I think I'll use it. Goliath is generic. It doesn't have anything card effects. Alice, Wonderland Explorer. I was told she was good. 
Give plus one, plus one to all neutral followers in your hand. <laughs> and in play. Plus. In Evolved, it gives... A neutral followers like this guy, right? Yeah. I still think that effect can be good if built around, but... Because in Magic the Gathering, anything that affects stuff in your hand is powerful by default. This is like a win con in the right scenario. We're playing low to the ground aggro. Fairy Wisp? Um, that is definitely being noted. Carbuncle Spartle? Sparkle? <laughs> Aggro lists are what I always like doing in card building games because they're generally the easiest thing you can make because you don't have to worry about a lot of these high cost cards. Is that what Carbungles does? I guess it's a flexible card. We'll put it in. Ringside announcer. Give all your other allied followers ward. That seems fun. And annoying. Treant. God Hunter. That could be good. That's fun. How often do you actually play the, the 10 costs cards in this game? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Never? Yeah, it's pretty much the same in Magic. If it costs more than 7, you're probably gonna 
only cast it if you can pretty much put the game in a deadlock. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, don't remind me. I hate ramp decks so much in Magic. It's like, hey, it's turn three. I have seven mana. Ugh. So nasty. That could be fun. Sounds good. If I hit forty yet? Okay. In honor of Jimmy Wong, we're going to call this Fairy Formation. There we go. <laughs> Oonga Boonga Go Face is the plan here. The plan is to fill my hand with one costs and then just flood the board and go wide. That's the plan. There we go. Man, man, man that morning star is like far. Let's try it out. Oh no. I already can tell this voice is not going to be friendly. Or something I'm going to get tired of. That girl could be in danger out here. This is the creepy girl with the ghost things, isn't it? Yes, of course it was. I know. Hello? Are you alright? It's the gothic Lolita. I finally remember. That's what the trope's called. Yeah? Who are you? My name's Arisa. What's your name? I'm Luna. It's nice to meet you. What are you doing, Luna? Exploring with mother and father. What happened to the music? Then where are they? Is your house near here, Luna? I think you should head home. I can take you there if you want. How come? Well... What if something tries to hurt you? Are you going to hurt me? No, of course not. 
I'm your friend. I guess. But there's still a lot I want to see. <laughs> Come on. It'll be fun to hang out together. No, it won't. It's going to be creepy and I'm going to regret it. More on the way back to your house. All right. Let's have an adventure together then. That sounds okay, way too excitable. That sounds like fun. You just have to do one thing. Oh boy. Die. I knew it. What? <sighs> Take that. Hey, the music's back, and I don't like it. Luna, why? That will be our adventure. <laughs> I get to kill you like you're a monster. No, oh, Luna, stop! Do you know what you're saying? I think she does. You're being a bad sport. What are those? Hurry up and play. What happened to you? I feel very uncomfortable. She's the fun kind of necromancer. Time for me to prove myself. Mother, father, come on. See, this is what I like to see in an opening hand. Oh, I'm sure her story's great and super interesting, but she's creepy as hell. Don't hurt me. You should come on my adventure. No. How about we don't and say we did? Punch you in the face. Look, I need a friend. I mean, I guess we just go face. Flood the board. When in doubt, go face. Yay! New friends. Hmm. I kind of want this to be really big when I put it on the field. It has ward when evolved, huh? Next turn, I'll play that. Hey, let's play. Hey, let's play. Stay away. Hit them in the face. Death touch, because of course it's death touch. They're picking on me. <laughs> okay, here's the plan. Hey, let's play. We're gonna play two fairies. What? No. Oh, oh well. Yeah. I'm the force. There we go. <laughs> hey, let's play. That'll eat their big thing, right? There's a five board space limit, huh? Mm. 
Okay. Let's put the Well of Destiny out. Let's put some fairies in our hand. And let's uh, start chipping away at the ward. You're done for! Fairies, don't push yourself too hard. Come on! I'm gonna motivate them to not. Upon the land. So much I ward. For a bit. Okay. One. Hey, let's play. Two. Hey, let's play. Call. It won't be long now. Don't I look perfect? Oh, I still have cards to play, huh? Hey, let's play. Light upon the land. Stop turtling. And now we just chip war. Boom. Chip war. I did it. I won. Uh, 
Hooray, we won with a deck that I made in, what, five minutes? Luna, you have to stop! You're not as nice as I thought. We opened a pack. You shouldn't worry about dying so much. My mother and father are dead, and they don't care at all. Just come on. No! Once someone dies, that's it! I mean, in a world of magic, necromancy's a thing. Huh? Your parents are dead, Luna. <laughs> you said so yourself. That means they're gone. You don't know what you're talking about. My parents are right here. Those things aren't your parents. Yes, they are! Stop saying that! Personally, I'm a firm believer of parents are who raise you, not who gave birth to you. I know you're hurting and you're scared. But the way you're acting is making things worse. You have to be honest with yourself, Luna. Stop it! You said we were friends! You called me a liar, but you're the liar! Someone now needs to wait. teach this kid, like, how the world works. You don't someone... need to run from me! Also, someone needs to teach me how the world works, because this world is weird. 